the first thing you got to do when you get a trolling motor is you got to have the juice, right? You got to have a battery, you got to have a power source. Uh, I'll show you what I went with, but you know, really you could use lots of different ones. You don't have to use a lithium battery like I'm using. You, know, you could use a deep cycle battery um, temporarily. You could probably even use a car battery. Um, they are not really made for that long term, but they will work. Uh, there's lots of different uh, thoughts. There's different sizes of batteries. There's different amp hours of batteries. And really it's to be particular to what you're going to do. I'd like to go out all day, long distances. I got a little bit heavier one, so you know, I want it to at least last me 12 hours is what I'm shooting for at not necessarily full speed, but uh, you know, at about four miles per hour, which is what the trolling motor should be able to do on my kayak. And uh, you know, I thank to my brother for suggesting this. Um, once again, I always mention his name. Thanks to him. Uh, he uh, has already bought one. He's been using it for about a year. Um, he really likes it. So I trust his judgment. So that's why I went ahead and bought the same. So this is a light time battery. Um, it's a lithium ion battery. Um, it's a 100 amp hour battery and it's 12.8 volts. If you select the link for this battery in the description, it will take you to the website and uh, you can enter random likes as your code on checkout and you'll get 3% off. Okay, so in the box, first and foremost, some stickers. Now, not the most important thing, but a manual. Um, also, there are post bolts. That came with it that we're going to show you here in a second and then of course the battery set that aside okay so here's the battery um i did have to put these post bolts in here um they're about that they're at that size it came with four so in case you need extra you got extra um these are just caps you can use um, to keep them clean i went ahead and put them on and also easily identify positive versus negative um, as you can see this battery looks about the same size as your standard automotive battery um, but one thing that's nice about it, you can see how narrow it is here. Uh, it's, let's see, I'll put the dimensions somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, so it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit lighter. I think it's about 19 pounds. Um, I'll double check that weight as well. And uh, the great thing about this lithium battery is in most of them, uh, double check manufacturers, but this one does specifically say you can store it on its side like so, which is how I plan on putting it on my kayak for space purposes. And um, you can also store it upside down. So that's uh, that's why I went with this one, went with the lithium. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than your standard battery, but you get a little bit more out of them. Uh, they last longer. And uh, for this one itself, it's much lighter than the other batteries. And that's important when you're on a kayak. You, know, uh, you don't need to be adding hundreds of pounds at a time, right? Which, Little little uh, amount of ways we can, um, just for speed, and uh, also uh, there is a limit on on kayaks, so make sure you check your weight limit uh, before you start adding a bunch of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get to the next box. All right, box number two. You guys just saw the battery, so the next thing you need to have is something to charge it. Right, uh, depending on what type of battery you have, you may already have a charger. I got this one. I was needing an upgraded battery charger anyway, just for my trailer, my kayak. Uh, the nice thing about this one is it actually can charge lithium. So you need to make sure your battery charger can charge lithium battery. Um, it can charge lithium, um, lead acid battery, so your standard car battery. Um, it does have a repair option, which I've heard good things about these. I'm working with kind of repair, desulfate uh, some of your um, lead acid batteries. So uh, this is just a 20 amp, 12 volt, 24 volt, volt automatic battery charger and maintainer. So uh, you can go as little as three amps to up to 20 amps uh, charging rate. Uh, but yeah, so just make sure that if you get a lithium ion battery, your battery charger is capable of charging it. Um, I would hate to see anybody waste that kind of money on a lithium ion battery and not put the money into a nice battery charger. So this is also one that was recommended and I uh, I got it because I needed a new one anyway and if you watch my trailer video on the kayak trailer um, I also have just a lead acid battery on that and so it will charge my lead acid battery on my trailer it will charge my smaller uh, lead acid battery for my depth finder and it will charge this larger lithium ion battery so I have one charger that does it all this in between which is a 
oh, upside down, Red Wolf 60 amp circuit breaker, automotive and marine grade, so it's waterproof, as you can see here. So I got a breaker uh, just in case. In case there's any further issues, help prevent that as well. Covering all my bases, not gonna spend this much money. And then here I've got some, one second here while I get out, get this open here. Some quick connects. All right, so here I've got some quick connects and uh, just go like that. Once I get all these in here and put, up, put in there, you gotta solder them. And that'll be able to easily connect and disconnect my batteries and then I can take it and charge it, so. Uh, I bought myself a Bauer, as you can see here. It's a, from Harbor Freight, it's for the toolkits, um, my crate I use for my fishing. Uh, it should be able to we'll sit right on top of this and then you can lock it in. And then so I'll have my crate up here, my battery box below, and uh, I'll have to do a little bit of adjustments to this. Before that, you can see here, I'll take these out, I'll lay the battery down, I'll have to notch out a few of these here. And then I also have a few other things. Let me grab them real quick. One of the things I do is film. So I bought one of these. Uh, I'm going to hook up a light for one of them uh, for my rear white light. And then over here, open that up here maybe. There we go. It's got two USB ports in it. One of these USB ports I'll be able to run my GoPro off of while I'm filming. And then the other one I may use for my rear light, uh, the white light, or I may hook up the switch. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to put this in the side somewhere, you know, put it in the side of the box, hook it up to the battery as well so I can do it for that. So we're going to go ahead and take the stuff out of here, and then we're going to fit it to size. So I'm going to lay the battery down in here about right here. Problem is, it doesn't quite cut all the way, so I'm going to have to notch out some of this up here for it and then I can put it down. I actually plan on using this side over here. I've also got to mount here it is. I've also got to mount this inline fuse right here and so I can mount this inside here wherever I decide to mount it. I'll be right in here and then it'll give me some extra storage. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just be able to put my battery charger on this side so it's always with the battery. I'll be able to take this box out completely, unhook it from the trolling motor, and take it inside and charge it. And then I'll put some, probably a little bit of foam around here to keep it from moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and get the oscillating tool out. I'm going to trim out some of this stuff, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, so you can see what I did here was... I used this lower line here and I just cut these off here on this side. And then I took out the dividers right here. I just made them flush. Now, sorry for the noise. Close, close it just fine. Got a battery box nice and secure. Now we get to wire it. After connecting the rocker panel and the USBs, I put a quick connect in there just so I could disconnect it when I'm not using it. Soldered the ends for all the battery cables. Next, I added the circuit breaker on the positive side, one positive in, one positive out, running these through the side, just drilled a small hole. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and I will add the quick attach plug to the positive and negative so that I can easily connect it to the plugs that I'm going to run on the back of the kayak and take the box off whenever I need it, which will be later on in the video.
you want to make sure that the positive is connected to the red and the negative to the black wire. And then you'll hear a little bit of a snap when it goes in there, and you'll hear it lock into place. And you're good to go. I also added a little bit of silicone around the wires once I got them all pulled. Okay, we've got the battery box put on. Um, you can't see it, but back here in the back, I'll have the USB, and then I'll show you why I chose this. Okay, so why I chose this as my battery box. Open these up here. You lock that in there, lock that on that side. Can't see it over here. And then I'll secure it down. So fairly secure. So the next thing we want to do is we want to connect the power and the battery back here, the juice, to the trolling motor. So I'm going to run some wiring from here, and we're going to put another quick attach plug on it. Just plug it in here. It'll run through the boat up to the front. We'll come out with a quick attach for the trolling motor. Okay, so I got the last piece of the puzzle in here, which is running the wire out. I think I'm going to put it like right here. Um, kind of out of the way, out of the way of the, the lines that come through here. So, going to make a semicircle here, exactly where I want it. Fill a pilot hole. Make sure I not go through. Get pretty much centered here. And we're just going to drill this out to one inch. that. Perfect. Okay, so I added this end on here, same as adding the end on the battery box that we did earlier. Make sure you put these on. The kit I got fit one wire in each hole here pretty easily. We'll go over like this. Slide that in there. Takes a little bit of finagling. you don't need it but better safe than sorry I'm just gonna put a dab of silicone around the back of this as well clean it up just a little bit I'll let that dry overnight 